Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Latest news. Meghan Markle took full advantage of her newfound independence from the Crown as she drove herself to a Canadian airport to pick up a Pilates expert pal who jetted in from the US for the weekend. The Duchess of Sussex was spotted in photos obtained exclusively by LMT Channel, parked outside Victoria International Airport in a Land Rover Discovery on Thursday afternoon. She appeared to be in high spirits as she chatted with a male companion in the front seat, believed to be personal security, for about 10 minutes until her friend Heather Doric arrived. Ems Doric, who hails from in San Antonio, Texas, became Meghan's Pilates guru and attended the royal wedding in May 2018 with her husband Matt Cohen. She runs the Pilates Platinum brand, which the Duchess started attending in Los Angeles when she starred in Suits. 5,000 miles away in London, her husband Harry made his first public appearance since the Mexic bombshell and potentially his last engagement as a frontline royal at the draw for the Rugby League World Cup at Buckingham Palace yesterday. The event, which saw the Prince chatting to youngsters in the Queen's Garden, was marked with an official Instagram video set to Stone Rose's hit This Is The One, which famously features the lyrics, it would like to leave the country for a month of Sundays. The extraordinary blunder had nothing to do with Harry, palace officials said later, blaming the event's organizers for the choice of song despite it being released via the official Sussex Royal account. Meghan's airport sighting came eight days since she and Prince Harry announced that they would be quitting their duties as senior royals and splitting their time between the UK and North America. Meghan is believed to have driven herself to the airport from the palatial dollar one four million Canadian mansion on Vancouver Island, where she's largely been holed up since Thanksgiving with Archie and his nanny. Meghan maintained a low profile by donning a black beanie, over, sized sunglasses and fur, lined black parka. She removed the sunglasses for a brief moment before putting them back on to block out the harsh late day Sunday. A smile spread across her face when she spotted her friend approaching the car with a suitcase and tote bag in tow. The friend slipped into the back seat of the crossover before reaching over to hug Megan in the driver's seat. It's unclear where the trio were headed off to when they left the airport, but Meghan's broad grin indicated she was excited about the destination. The Duchess of Sussex broke cover on Tuesday for the first time when she left the Vancouver Island mansion to visit a women's shelter in Canada's poorest neighborhood. Harry is expected to join Meghan in Canada soon, after spending time in Britain to work out the terms for the couple quitting during a summit with the Queen, Prince Charles and Prince William at Sandringham on Monday. He made his first public appearance at the draw for the Rugby League World Cup at Buckingham Palace on Thursday. Don't stop.